if you're having difficulty latching, first thing you're going to do, like let's say in the first 24 hours your baby's not latching, um, you're going to use manual expression. I'm going to show you another little video clip on manual expression. If you want to stay at the end of the class, I will show you how to do manual, or you can, I won't touch your breast, but you can learn how to do manual expression. You all have colostrum and colostrum will come out. This is a skill that you want to learn. You want to know this skill. It's actually more efficient to use manual expression than a pump. Baby number one, two, your hand, three, a pump. So, but if you're having difficulty, you're going to use manual expression to stimulate your milk production 10 to 12 times a day in that first, whatever, however long it takes until your baby gets on your breast. If your baby needs to be supplemented in the hospital, you're going to use manual expression. They're, they've been mandated to teach you in the hospital, but if you could teach, if you can learn prenatally, then that's another skill that you will have under your belt before you get to the hospital. And almost every woman that comes into my breastfeeding clinic, I ask them, do you know how to manually express? And they say, oh, well, somebody taught me, but, you know, I said, you know, okay, show me what you know. And usually it's not done properly. And when they learn, they say, oh, my goodness, this is so easy. And it's not painful. It's, it's, it's a good skill to have. Skin to skin is what you're going to do as much as possible because the more skin to skin the baby learns that this is a safe place and the baby may just go and latch themselves. Um, breast shields, I don't know where my stuff is, oh it's here. So I am a big proponent if I cannot, if the baby's not latching in the first 24 hours, I would rather send you home with a breast shield than a pump. I'd rather have your baby latched on to your breast with a breast shield than have a baby bottle fed and the mom pumping because it's just that much harder to get that baby back to the breast. So this is a really useful tool. Uh, breast shells could be worn prenatally to try to for inverted nipples. So manual expression, it's an essential tool bringing a baby to the breast. So we're going to look at a, a short little clip on that. Hand expression is a good technique to use if you need to express breast milk. It is the most effective way to express colostrum. Position your thumb on one side of your breast and your first two fingers on the opposite side. You'll find the best distance with practice. Press your thumb and fingers directly back into the breast tissue towards the wall of your chest. Keeping your thumb and fingers pressed back, close them like a set of pliers. Be careful not to slide your fingers along the skin. Rotate around your breast, repositioning your fingers each time. You may only get a few drops of milk the first time. You'll get better at it with practice. Some mothers find it easier than others to express milk. The amount of milk that you can express is always less than what the baby can get by nursing effectively. If your baby cannot latch, you're going to hand express. And in the hospital, they're going to supply you with a double electric pump. This is a hospital grade pump. It's worth like about $2,000. Um, it's not the same as the pumps that you buy on the market that are about three or $400, the double electric. It is what's recommended because if you cannot get your baby on because, um, because your breast milk is being made for the first time, so you want the higher uh, the more power, as my husband say, more power mm -hmm. to get the best amount of milk, the most amount of milk possible. But hand expression is, uh, is uh, first, so they'll want you to hand express before every pumping because it increases your breast milk by about 30%. Um, so why would the hospital sometimes be, like you use a pump if you're not able to feed on your own and other times have you with the they'll have you pump as well. They'll have you pump as well. Because often, because a pump, a pump in the first day, you'll be pumping and nothing's going to come out. Okay. Because you have to think about what the, t the, um, the logistics of breastfeeding. So think about an orange and think about a baby um, latching onto an orange. So the baby will latch 
and then squeeze, and then suck. So lots of juice in that orange. But you can imagine, so a pump is just whoo, sucking. So your breast milk's not well established, so it's not getting anything out. Right, okay. But when you're hand expressing, you're doing half of the work. So you're squeezing and that, those little drops are coming out. You're not getting the suction, but you're getting the milk out. So both the hand expression and the pump equal a baby. Okay. That's, that's the whole thing. But often you won't get enough in the first day or two. Which is why they'll tell you to use one. Yeah. Okay. But you can get really good at hand expression. If you go in there and you do that 12 <coughs> times, that may be enough for your baby, but not, not too many moms. And the nurses are just getting into hand expression and helping you to do that. And so the whole, it just was implemented like in this last year. So you guys know, though, you can say, hey, I'll do this, and I'll just supplement my baby, because your baby only needs a very small amount. So, but if, if you can't uh, latch your baby on repeatedly, or you can't latch even with the nipple shield, then that, you know, you'll have to go home pumping. Um, you know, in other countries, uh, they don't have pumps uh, when their babies are born prematurely, and they just... They just do manual expression like 10 times a day for like 20 minutes at a time. So if you leave the hospital and you need a pump, you'll have to rent one. Um, there's only two pumps that are uh, recommended by lactation consultants in this city and in Canada, and that's Amita Hollister and Medela. So to make breast milk, you need the double electric pump. If you just want to pump, like once your breast milk is well established and you want to give a supplement or you want to give a bottle once a day, I ask you to wait till at least two weeks. Public health says six. By that time, your baby will never take a bottle. Yeah. No, they won't. They'll be so used to your breast that they won't. They won't take a bottle. So, but most people that are breastfeeding, uh, well, it, it'd be it'd be interesting study to do uh, in Canada how many people are supplementing. Not a lot of people supplement. So sorry, just a question about like the two week mark to uh, be able to express or express uh, bottle feed. I mean, are there risks of nipple confusion? Not at that time. Not usually. Not if breastfeeding is going well and you went tickety boo for two weeks and the baby's back up to yeah. Pumping is tricky though. Pumping is tricky. So that too, if you have a mentor, because I had a mom with uh, twins and she like, she, she, uh, she says, Diane, make sure to tell them that they, they, their body has to get used to the pump. Their body's used to the baby. I had one mom who could do eight ounces in five minutes. <laughs> so why not use your hand? You can, you don't have to be hooked up to a plug. You could do it anywhere. When you go back to work, you could do it, you know, anywhere. You're flying with the baby, whatever.